how technology is changing parking. I'm Jill Horner, this is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Rick Dixon, Deputy Executive Director of the Philadelphia Parking Authority. Thanks so much for being with us. Happy to be here. Before we get into the use of technology, let's talk a little bit about the concept of quality of life and working to improve quality of life. You say this is something that you as an authority think about when it comes to parking. Parking is something that can either be an obstacle to a person's experience in the city or it can be completely seamless. We try to go to the part where people don't even recognize that they had to look for a place to park. So there are all kinds of things that we can apply to try to make people's lives easier. So for people that live in residential areas that are densely populated and sometimes have a conflict with businesses or other institutions in the area that compete for scarce parking spaces, we, we have neighborhood lots. There are 50 of them spread throughout the city that take some of that pressure off. Um, in other areas of the city we have um, garages in Center City for example. We try to set rates in those garages so that not only are they convenient and reasonably priced but they also set a standard for the other private operators so that they can't like indiscriminately raise prices. So it's a price stabilization. We know that people don't come to Philadelphia to park. People come to Philadelphia to do all kinds of things, whether it's work or visit a ho someone in the hospital, or go to the Liberty Bell. We try to make the parking experience seamless so that the quality of their experience here in the city, whether they're residents or visitors, is, is easier than it might otherwise be. I also want to ask you about the use of technology. You are utilizing technology in a variety of different ways. As an authority, you're looking at something called a parking guidance system. This would be utilized at the Philadelphia Airport. How would this system work? Well, if you've ever been to the airport, there are 18,000 parking spaces there. But finding that one that's available close to where you need to be is sometimes a little bit of a challenge. So we are about to review proposals to institute to put in a completely new guidance system that will take a motorist from the highway to the parking space in a way that is, that is easy and feels comfortable. So there are different types of travelers that visit the airport. A business traveler, the most important thing is convenience. So if they go online to buy their ticket to fly from Philadelphia to Chicago, and at the end of that transaction, they're prompted to say, would you like to reserve a space? And they know from what gate that flight is leaving, they can reserve a space at the bridge level where they will be guided from the highway into the appropriate garage to the right level where the reserve space is to the space that's reserved for them. Then we pair that with a baggage check-in area right at that bridge. So their time to get from their car to their gate is reduced to the shortest amount that we can possibly get. It. Now, a business traveler would have different needs than someone going on vacation with their family from the airport. They, the family vacation may not have those same needs in terms of convenience. They still want to have convenience, but they may not have those same time requirements that a leisure traveler would. Exactly. Oftentimes, those travelers are more concerned about price. So before they get to the airport, they would be prompted to say, economy parking is this direction, and they follow the prompts there. And at, e and at each of those decision points, there'll be information to tell them the number of spaces that are available and guidance of how to get to those available spaces. And just a few seconds left, any kind of time frame for the implementation of the system? We hope to have the first garage installation beginning within six months, and all of the garages finished within 18 months. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. We've been talking with Rick Dixon. I'm Jill Horner.